Hi everyone, this is Patty from Deep Space Sparkle, and today on the blog I showed you how to draw a car ferry or a ferry boat. Now this lesson is geared for kids in maybe in grades kindergarten up through second grade, but I want to expand on that and show older kids, maybe third through sixth, how to draw a real car ferry. Growing up in Prince Edward Island as a kid, the only way to get to the mainland, which was New Brunswick or Nova Scotia, was a car ferry. And even in winter, when the ice was really thick on the Northumberland Strait, you had to plow through that ice in order to get to the mainland. The best ferry of all was the Abiguit, and that's what we're gonna draw today. Here's an original picture of the Abiguit. Now the Abiguit is a Micmac name for Prince Edward Island, which meant cradle on the waves, because Prince Edward Island is shaped like a little crescent and it's in the middle of the Northumberland Strait, which is just right off of the Atlantic Ocean. You can see how this is the part where it would break through the ice. This is where all the passengers would sit here and up here. There'd be restaurants and lounges and libraries and all sorts of fun things. And then at the very back of the boat, this is where all the trains would lower down into the very bottom of the boat, the trucks, and then also the people in the car. So that's what we're gonna draw. The best thing to do is to break out your drawing into shapes. And whenever I draw something that has a little bit more detail, I like to start with a pencil. So you can see here that I have just an ocean wave. There's no need to draw a very straight line for the bottom of the ferry boat because it's in the water. So here's the bow of the boat. Now the back of the boat looks like this. It kind of goes on an angle. The reason is this is where there would be a little ramp and then the cars would line up here and then this part would be kind of the flat part of the boat. Then, here's the interesting part. The back of the boat would start there, but it would have this big open gap. Do you know why? Because this uh, gap allowed for more area so that when big trucks came into the, into the ferry boat, if this had a roof like this, the truck wouldn't be able to get in but this way the truck can get in. So ignore all my little truck drawings and let's move on. So here's the bow of the boat. We want to connect this line to the very back. It kind of goes straight down and then on an angle. Trace over this line a little bit harder because that's the line we want to keep. Next what I want you to do is draw a little, kind of like a sideways letter U. See how it loops around? It's pretty long and then it kind of comes straight up. This is where people would come out on the deck and they would look overboard. And I remember as a little girl uh, standing here and then watching all of the ice break up. It was really fascinating. Then what you can do just to kind of give yourself a little bit of help to draw some kind of a straight line really lightly that connects the bow or the front part of the boat to the back of the boat. And this will just give you a little bit of guidance. Then we're going to be drawing a little Kind of like another straight line right up here, and it goes like this, and then this is what it does. It swoops down to just above this line, and it goes back over, and before we get to the back of the boat, just make a little indentation or a little angle line. Now see how my lines aren't perfectly straight? That's totally fine. You can get out a ruler and do this, but you might drive yourself crazy. So now what you want to do is create I think this is where a lot of the, you know, the um, captains would, not so much the captains of the boat, but the, kind of like the personnel, because I don't think I, well, I can't remember if I ever sat up there. But it looks like a pretty good view of the back of the boat and all of the waves that were the break that would happen as the boat passed through the water. So now we can add the details. 